More trouble for Microsoft as they're forced to remove the problematic AMD driver that was causing BSODs. Blue Sound announces updates for streaming portfolio. And PreSonus releases the MicroStation BT. Covering IT, Home AV and Pro Audio. This is Tech News Today. For Tuesday the 11th of May 2021, Tech News Today is back. Three stories to get through. Let's get into it. First up from TechSpot, Microsoft removes problematic AMD driver that was causing BSODs on Windows 10 PCs. A few ways to roll back and get going. What just happened? After multiple users have reported BSOD crashes following updating their Windows 10 systems, Microsoft found it had accidentally uploaded an update package with a problematic driver. The driver causing the crashes was AMD's SCSI adapter 9.3.0.221 and was mostly affecting systems with AMD X570 motherboards. To avoid further issues, the driver has since been removed. Microsoft's getting into a habit of doing this, aren't they? Back when the driver was released on Windows Insider program, users reported it was causing boot issues. After investigating what was causing it, a Microsoft representative stated the driver was only supported, supposed to, I'm sorry, was only supposed for selected systems running Windows 10 2004 and 20H2 versions. However, it ended up landing on incompatible systems because it was using an, quote, extremely generic hardware ID, close quote, placing it in the wrong, quote unquote, place. Those who reported crashes after installing the update were surprised with BSOT error code, quote, inaccessible boot device, close quote, which then results in the system restart loop. After a few system restarts, some users stated that Windows Repair itself, itself, Windows repairs itself, I'm sorry, by rolling back the last updates it has done. Others claim they had to do a system repair manually. If your Windows update has already found the driver and you haven't installed it yet, we advise you to avoid it if you're using an AMD system. In case you've already downloaded it and it is still hasn't restarted the system, you can roll back the installation. To do that, open the device manager, storage controllers, open driver tab. We know about that. The worst case scenario would be if you've already if you're already facing a restart loop. In that situation, you may access the Windows boot options and try a startup repair or system restore to fix the issue. Well, this one you can't blame AMD for, let's face it, but I've got to say, even, you know, some of the Intel updates have caused trouble. Uh, I've had um, the Intel chipset update, uh, what was it, three or four weeks ago that caused me trouble with my, with the main PC and I had to roll it back. This one from um, Sound and Vision, one of my preferred home AV uh, news sites. Blue Sound announces updates for streaming portfolio. Blue Sound, the sister company of Canada's NAD and PSB specializing in wireless streaming gear, Today announced the next generation of its popular Node high-res music streamer and PowerNode streaming amplifier. Slated to begin shipping in June and currently available for pre-order, both models have been updated with more powerful processing including, including new 32-bit 384K digital analog converters, touch control with five presets, proximity sensors and high power in case of the PowerNode amplifier. Pricing is from 549, I'm assuming US, oh yeah, this is in the US. So to be, pricing is 549 US dollars for the node, which is the right hand side one, and 899 US dollars for the power node, um, which is now rated to deliver two by 80 watts into eight ohms. So that's a total of 160 watts into eight ohms up from two by 60 watts. So I know what you're seeing and you're seeing, well, hang on, old mate, that's only a 40 watt increase. 
that's still a big increase. In addition to supporting 24-bit 192K streaming via the BlueOS multi-room platform and MOA.com processing, the revamped node and power node boasts a new 1.8 gigahertz ARM Core Cortex A53 processor, said to be eight times faster than the processor used in the current generation, dual band Wi-Fi plus a gigabit ethernet connection and streaming via two-way APTX HD enabled Bluetooth. Holy moly. Both come with infrared remote control input and are further equipped with a new enhanced audio return channel, eARC, enabled HDMI connection, optical and analog inputs, wired and wireless headphone outputs, and support for Apple's AirPlay 2 streaming platform and voice control via Siri, Amazon Alexa, and Google Assistant. A remote handset is is not included, but Blue, Blue Sound offers the RC1 as an option. On the output side, the node provides stereo analog, optical, coaxial, and USB type A connections, plus a 12 volt trigger. The new touch controls located atop the node and power node handle play pause, track skipping and volume while complementing the Blue OS controller app, which, all, which provides access to tone controls and subwoofer crossover settings as well as Spotify title, Quobus, Sirius, Sirius, Sirius XM and other streaming services or your own personal music library. Both streaming devices are compatible with control systems from Crestron, Elan, RTI, Lutron, and others. Designed for multi-room streaming, the Blue OS platform supports up to 64 high-res music players. The node and power node will be available in black, and you can visit bluesound.com for more information. So, small in size, big in power, two by 80 watt. That's that's not bad for something that small. It's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not surprised. I was waiting for to see when Blue Sound would bring out the the next two units. Um, I can't remember how long NAD and PSB have had Blue Sound now. Does someone want to remind me? I can't actually remember. All right, into Pro Audio, and uh, this one as always from Sound on Sound. PreSonus releases MicroStation BT, monitor control with Bluetooth streaming. PreSonus have just released their new monitor control called the MicroStation BT. On the analog side of things, it's a stereo passive attenuator designed to connect a pair of powered monitors, but as well as providing level control over a stereo analog source, it features an alternate Bluetooth 5.0 input. The latter means that you can pair it with mobile devices either for casual listening or for a quick AB referencing of your mixes against commercial material. In addition to its balanced stereo outs, it supports a mono output, or sorry, it sports a mono output mirrored on balanced TRS and unbalanced RCA phono sockets, which is intended to feed a subwoofer. The sub out follows the stereo outs outputs in level, but also can be muted via top panel push switch. There's also a master mute button. Finally, a pair of mini jack sockets lets you send an unbalanced stereo feed to headphone amp or recorder, or feed an unbalanced stereo source to the monitor controller. Power to the unit, which is equipped for Bluetooth operation, comes via standard USB-C port. The PreSonus MicroStation BT is available and priced at $129.95 US dollars. And you see on the back there, okay? So there's your power, there's your on off. You've got your TRS in, all right? Now remember, TRS is the same as XLR. So instead of having three pins, it's tip ring sleeve, all right? You have your auxiliary ins and outs, which look like three and a half mil jacks. They're your mains out. And then you have these two, which also has an RCA unbalanced sub out. All right. So as you can see, it's, it's very little, 
but it packs it, it appears to pack a punch now pre sonos is actually a very good brand they're very very good um they have been for a while and i i haven't what i've read and what i've seen says to me they're a good brand but personally never used now yes the know-it-all experts of old mates backyard tech i know you use these every day you know about them blah 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 some people may not so shut your face and fof um their older version was good but i believe this version also reduces some of the harmonics in the bottom end especially from a bluetooth point of view um i haven't gone through all the tech specs yet but it, it look it could be look if you've got a little you know if you want to um you know you're sitting at a console and you know you're going through stuff and you're like hang on i want to hear this maybe you've made a cover version of a track and you don't want to make you, you've got all your systems done you just want to stream the original track and you're going to do it over bluetooth that's absolutely perfect for it absolutely perfect so and cheap at 129.95 us dollars that's bang for the buck as far as i'm concerned there we are tech news today for tuesday the 11th of may 2021 we'll see what else crops up through the day have a good one this has been an old mate's backyard tech presentation